Hello, I'm Dr. Harper. This video is a homework Excel tutorial, part E, for business forecasting and operations management. So let's bring up the problem. A company has historically used monthly sales for one month as the forecast for the next month, MA1, or naive forecast, for a stationary time series. The company has been satisfied with this approach except for the unstable behavior of the forecasts. Janine, the new MBA member of the forecasting committee, suggests using more data to stabilize the forecasts. But the committee expressed concern about placing too much reliance on past months. Janine then suggested exponential smoothing so that the weight of past months can be balanced with the stability of the forecasts. And so two concerns. One, we don't want to forecast the future by going too far back, which is legitimate. But also, as, as Janine suggested, well, if we use exponential smoothing, then we can have exponential weights that decrease exponentially in the past, so we can balance that with the stability of the forecast. So it's one way to solve a problem. The committee unanimously agreed with the proposal and discussed the initial smoothing parameter, and Janine collected the time series. After discussion, Janine got approval for a smoothing parameter of 0.3 and straightway obtained her forecast. Now, what did she find as her forecast for month 21? Okay, so let's get this. Let's uh, highlight this. Control C to copy. Open up Excel. Uh, enlarge this and then come down a ways and say uh, control V to paste and then let's uh, enlarge this there we go okay now one way to do this is uh, let's take this and copy it again uh, to make a duplicate so we always have the raw data to go back to because I'm going to start changing things around let's make a line plot First thing you do is plot the data. So let's take the data right here, come all the way up here. There's 20. Okay, uh, and then we're going to say insert uh, here. Ready, go. And, well, sure enough, it's fairly uh, stable. That's a uh, stationary time series, all right. So that's good to know. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is uh, do exponential smoothing with a parameter 0.3. So let's do this again, but this time let's copy this, come down here, and let's transpose it. Okay, and then let's take months 11 through 20 and move it down to here. Okay, and now let's delete this. And for all 20 months here, let's take all of this. And let's take away the uh, boxes. There we go. Okay, now we have point three. Now this is the way uh, I... I uh, we prefer to do it. Uh, we have alpha. Which is 0.3. And we'll copy that down. And we'll duplicate it, I mean. Now we'll copy the duplicate down to 20. Okay. <coughs> and then also, I also just want to put in here 1 minus alpha. Equals 1 minus... 0.3, which is going to be 0.7, just to know exactly what we're calculating. And now we have our forecasts. And our forecast for the second time period equals the, time, the data in the first time period to get started. Okay, now we have everything for the second time period. Now we can get the forecast for the third time period, which equals... Alpha times your time series plus 1 minus alpha times your forecast. Now that we have it, we can copy this down all the way down to time period 21. We see here the forecast is 1,000. Well, that's convenient. Okay, and so uh, it jumps all around here, but that's going to be 1,000. Okay, so now we have our plot over here, and there it is. So, what what we can do though, what I'm going to do here, 
is uh, combine these values. I'm going to combine month. I'm going to combine our data, time series, and then combine our uh, forecast into one table here. There it is. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I want to take my time series and my forecast and I want to plot them together. Well, maybe not. Let's do this again. Oh, yeah. Made a mistake. Start with a forecast. <laughs> okay. Insert. Here we go. There we go. Now let's format this. Uh, this goes from, uh, let's say, I don't know, 800 to 1200 maybe. Double click here. And we want this to go minimum of 800 to 1200. And then say return. Uh, that's not bad. We can go from 850 to 1100. Okay, let's go 850 to 1100. Okay, because uh, I want to see uh, what happens here when I start changing my alpha. So right now it's 0.3. What happens if I change my, what if I increase it to say 0.5? So we can see in 0.7 or 0.9, we can see how our forecast, which is the orange, become unstable. Come back to point 0.3. What if I go to point 0.2, point 0.1, point 0.05? Notice how it stabilizes. Okay, so as the alpha gets smaller, you stabilize forecasts. As alpha gets bigger, uh, a, a approaches 1, then you respond, uh, at least a delay, it becomes more like a moving average of 1. Okay, MA1, a naive forecast. In other words, you start responding closer to your forecast. When it is one, uh, then you are. It is a moving average of one. Okay, so essentially what they were doing, go back to point three. Let's go back to the problem. You can see here uh, that they were using a moving average of one. Well, that's the same thing as a exponential smoothing where the alpha smoothing parameter is one. But as this comes down, we begin to uh, weight this as we go back. And as this gets smaller and smaller, the weight of past data becomes less and less. So there's our forecast, and that's really all I have for this uh, Excel tutorial, Part E, for exponential smoothing. I hope this helps. Take care.